and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide, and today we're going to be going over the most overrated cards I think you should sell that are in this game currently. Now, I made one of these like a week or two ago, but there's been some new players that come out, so I want to update you guys on all the overrated cards you should sell right now. Some of them, if you guys even have these cards, I'm going to call you guys crazy because I don't know why you'd ever own these cards. They are overpriced. I'm going to give you guys some alternatives if they come to my mind at the time of what to do with those because obviously, I sh it's just what to sell. But if I have an alternative for you guys, I will be f I'll feel free to drop it. And if you guys don't, if I don't mention it, comment down below some alternatives and I'll let you guys know what you guys should get in terms of replacing this card. There might be some repeats from the other list because they're just that overrated. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to smash the sub button. Let's get this channel to 10k by September 6th because that is when I plan to get the 10k subscriber special. I have something crazy planned for you guys. Literally crazy. So if you guys want to see it, make sure to get this channel to 10k, boys. Turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Also, let's get this video to 300 likes. You guys have been smashing the like button. I know you guys can do it. So feel free. Smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below anyone I missed. If you think there's someone even more overrated that I missed, and comment down below if there's any alternatives if you guys want one, because I know I'm gonna tell you guys to sell players. So if you trust me to sell them, let me know if there's any alternatives. Now, guys, thank you for all the support lately. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into this video. So over to the auction block. That's how I love to run things. I don't know why more people don't. I think it's the easiest way to do things. Let's start from the low overall, guys. A little bit of the lower, guys. Starting at like 86, 87. Anything below 86 isn't overrated. So in my opinion. Right now in this game, Richard Sherman, overrated. Why? Because all year, Richard Sherman's speed is always behind where it should be. Don't get me wrong. If you're not, if you're playing like an average guy, Richard Sherman might mess them up. He's so low, he's clamps, and he's slow, but he's tall. But a good player knows not to test Sherman. So eventually, you're going to know how to play him. You don't throw slants on Sherman. You don't throw any of that. You go deep on him. You post on him. There's a lot of things you can do against Sherman that destroys him because he's too slow. Now... In run, in run protection, he's too slow. Marcus Allen will juke him out of his shoes and outrun him. So in my opinion, Sherman's way overrated. Now as we come up this list, there's a few guys here. But again, 86, 87s. Travis Kelsey's overrated. I had him for like a day or two. Regretted it. Too slow. Much better tight end. Alternative for him is power up George Kittle. Don't overthink it. Travis Kelsey is overrated in my personal opinion. Now, again, 86, 87s. There's not going to be too many overrated guys. Just for the reasoning of that. It's 86 overalls. Earl Thomas is overrated. He's my best... He is the best safety in the game, but he's so overpriced and overrated. Like, if I you have a, I have a power pass, so I got him for cheap, so I don't mind. But in my opinion, Earl Thomas is not worth the coinage. So if you have him, sell him. Get someone else for now. An alternative might be, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's no good free safeties in this game right now. I just think he's highly overrated. I also think Ezekiel Elliott's overrated. I haven't seen his, I haven't seen him yet. But he's definitely overrated. So it's a halfback. Show you guys the stats. I've been over this cowboy fans please don't dislike the video i'm sorry his stats are overrated he's not exactly too expensive so i don't mind anymore it was when he was more like 100k 81 speed bad carrying bad elusiveness bad trucking bad catching his next car will be crazy don't get me wrong he's going to be a great running back this year but this card specifically is overrated now if you guys have any of these cards i recommend selling them and there's some specifically sorry specifically more that i'd sell at this moment in time let's go up the ladder okay oh my god i thought i saw jerry rice for 200 for 200 coins so as we go up the ladder, guys, there's not too many guys who I think are overrated here. There's a, there's a few. Harrison Smith, overrated. Why is Harrison Smith more than Ken Houston? What does Madden come to? Look at this. A Ken Houston could run a mile. He could run a, He could run the field back and forth before Harrison Smith even read the play. Ken Houston is the most insane safety I've used in a while in the first beginning of the game. Yeah, Harrison Smith has good zone. That's cool. But man coverage is the wave right now, first off. Man coverage is. So right now, I, all I care about in my safety positions are speed, for the most part, excel, and hit power. Harris Smith can hit. That's fine. His zone, the zone's both good. The mans are both bad. And pursuits are all right. Play rec, yeah, I'll give him that. His play rec's good. But he's so slow. Harrison Smith is always slow. So I'll never see him as a long-term option because safety, with the way this game is with Marcus Allen, Philip Lindsay, Todd Gurley, they're breaking plays all the time. You need a safety to be a... Excuse me. You need a safety to be a safety blanket. Harrison Smith is not that. In run protection, he's going to get outrun all the time. Ken Houston saves me all the time. If a guy breaks past my first line of protection, you can I can assure you that Ken Houston's coming in to go make the play. Now, another guy that's overrated in this list. Again, I actually really like this 88-89 crop. 
I don't really see many guys here overrated. There's more in the 90s as we go up. So if we come over to the 90s, 91s. This is where. Derek Brooks, overrated. 81 speed, okay, that's fine. 90 tackle, okay, that's good. Play rec, good. Block shed's bad. Power moves bad. Finesse moves bad. And right now, the meta is blitzing and pass rushing outside linebackers. He's a decent, at best, zone coverage linebacker. And people are like, yeah, but he has good zone. Yeah, but you can have good get middle linebackers with good zone and then just blitz him. He's an 82 zone coverage. Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, it's okay. You don't think I take my, my Lawrence Taylor's faster. He's taller, better excel, better strength, decent enough tackling and play rec, better block shed, better, better power move, better finesse move. And he's faster. So even in the zone, yeah, Derek Brooks only has an 81 speed. And 82 zone is not game breaking, especially with zones being broken right now. So I don't even want to hear that. Second on the list is probably going to be, I don't want to say it. What I'm going to, I think Todd Gurley's overrated. I think he's overrated. I think at his price point, I'd much rather have Marcus Allen. Now, don't get me wrong. If you get him Nat, don't be, don't freak out. He's really, he's amazing. He's an amazing running back. Specifically because he comes with first one free, jukebox, backfield mismatch, and pin and pull guru. But I'd much rather have evasive and freight train. So you could buy Marcus Allen for 260, power him up or upgrade his, give him evasive and freight train for literally the same price. In my opinion, that's much better. Todd Gurley's not overrated to the extent, like, get rid of him now, but I think, in my opinion, if you have Todd Gurley, sell him now and wait for the next big running back. Don't even get Marcus Allen. Just wait for now because things are going to come out. Luke Keekley, at one point, I was thinking was overrated. He's starting to look like a beast. He's grown on me. I kind of wish I got him out of my pack. He is not overrated, guys. I take that back if I've ever said that. He's a really, 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 really solid middle linebacker. Pat Mahomes, not going to lie. I've used him a lot. He's really good, but I thought he'd be better. I thought he'd be a little better, you know? His red zone dead eye does show, though. I'll give you that. I run this one play where it's like a uh, flag route to the outside corner of the end zone, Torrey Holt, and Pat Mahomes with red zone dead eye beautifully places it in the back left corner of the red zone. And I'm very, very happy about how well he can throw that. I will give him that. He is OP in that sense. Now, there are two guys specifically that are overrated. Lawrence Taylor, underrated. 400K, 500K, underrated. Get Lawrence Taylor. So, overrated. Christian McCaffrey. I love me some Christian McCaffrey. CMC, I love him. Don't get me wrong, I love his stats. But 725K? Are you kidding me? I saw this card sell out for a million coins yesterday. 1.3 million, just selling. Guys, Christian McCaffrey, overrated. You wanna know why? My running back that cost me about 240K is faster, better carrying, better truck, and better brake tax. So, okay, he's a, better, he's a better power back. That's cool. He's probably not as fast. Wait, he's faster too. Oh, but then his carrying is probably not that good. No, his carrying is better. Oh, wait, his catch. Oh, his catch is only different by seven. But he can also get evasive and freight train. It's not even close. For a, literally like almost a quarter of the price. And he's a limited time card. So, I mean, long term, I don't really like having limited time cards on my team. Don't get me wrong. I love him, but overrated. This Kellen Winslow, again, amazing tight end. But for the price, are you kidding me? 550K. If he was down like 300K, don't get me wrong. He's the best tight end in the game. 550. Yeah, I won't call him overrated because he's the best tight end in the game. Now, last on the list, most likely that I think is so overrated is Eddie Jackson. Someone just asked me, I sniped this Eddie Jackson out for like 900, 800k coins. Oh no, 750k coins. Should I sell him for a million or should I keep him and upgrade him? Are you joking? This guy is a slightly better Earl Thomas. Think about it. His hit power is almost the same. Their zone both break the threshold. Their man's both pretty bad. The pursuit, okay, I'll give him the pursuit. The play rec's close. The speed's close. The height's close. The excel's close. The only thing this card has in him, really, is the better pursuit. That's about it. Everything else is so like Zones within three. Power's within one. Man coverage is within seven. Pursuit's within... Okay, pursuit's 14. I'll give you that one. That one's good. 15. Play rex within five. Excel's within two. And you mean to tell me that my Earl Thomas that cost me like 50k with training and a power pass is not as worth it as a million coin card? And right now, the meta isn't even zone. It's speed, height, and man. Which is why I love... My Ken Houston. I get free safeties weak right now. But don't be dumb and spend a million coins on Eddie Jackson to make up for the lack of free safeties. Like you're missing something in your life. Just wait. Just please wait. I assure you, I will be waiting. That's why I have not upgraded Earl Thomas. I've not put any abilities. He's not a long-term card on my team. Unless they drop some heat with the next Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas can never hit. I always think he's kind of overrated in my opinion. He's played okay. Don't get me wrong, but he's not, he's not nothing spectacular. I wouldn't go out of the way to get him. I recommend guys waiting on free safety. I made it through top 100 weekend league with Earl Thomas. Trust me, you do not need to spend a million coins on Eddie Jackson. Just, you can hide Earl Thomas by doing some man blitzes. You can hide him by sitting in deep zones. There's a lot of ways to hide him. You don't have to like, he's not like a focal point. I think Ken Houston's my focal point in the, the deep coverage. 
But guys, do not waste your coins on Ajax. A million coins, are you guys kidding me? That is crazy. Him and CMC, don't get me wrong. That's why I never like signature series. I never like this promo for that one reason, because I can never use the cards because they just don't justify the price. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you haven't checked out the other videos, I will be going over the top three players in each position, which is very good at counterproductive to, it's counteractive, I guess you could say, to this, because those players kind of coincide with these are overrated, sell these, get these guys. But if you have these guys, I recommend selling them. If they're not, don't, don't bother. It's okay. Like you can have Todd Gurley not. You can have those guys now. You can have Harrison Smith or Zach Ertz. That's fine. But guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's get this video to 300 likes. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Smash the sub button. Let's get to 10K for that nice special with a certain YouTuber. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Comment down below if you think I missed anyone or if I over, over attacked someone. That's all cool. I love the feedback. But guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.